person you're looking at is the first Saudi Arabian woman to climb to the top of the world. Yes, she climbed the world's highest mountain and she was the youngest Arab to do so. How did this Arab woman make it to the top of Everest? And what did other men in her country have to say about it? In Dubai, United Arab Emirates, I found Raha. Hi Nas Daily. I'm Raha and I'm the first Saudi woman to climb Everest and the Seven Summits. When you're an Arab woman, people are always quick to give you a role as a daughter, a mother, or a wife. But Raha did not want to just stay at home. She wanted to conquer the world's highest mountain, Mount Everest, something no other woman in her country had ever done before. I remember when I first started telling people that I wanted to climb. Nobody believed I could do it. Everyone was very negative, and even my own father was reluctant to accept. But I finally convinced him in the end. So Raha began saving money and started training for her mission. She walked long distances in heavy boots. She carried a 25 kilogram backpack and made herself stronger every single day. I had to train my body, but I equally had to train my mind because a strong mind is critical for such a mission. But this was only the beginning. Because climbing to the top of the world is not easy as you can imagine, especially when you're from the desert. And on the top, you have to deal with snowstorms and freezing temperatures. So you get really weak, you get really sick, and you may even die. I'm supposed to have a fantastic day. And as you can see, it's miserable. Maybe two more nights to wait for the weather to clear. At some point, your body shuts down. This was unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Even some of my teammates gave up and couldn't finish the mission. She even had to go for days without simple things like water, showers, and warm food. But Raha did not let any of this stop her. She pushed through it all until she finally reached the top of the world. It's in that moment that I realized how incredibly powerful we are as humans, but at the same time, we're very fragile. And I think that's what makes us beautiful. And she didn't stop there, because she went to climb even more mountains. Until four years later, she became the first Saudi woman to climb the highest peak in every continent, not just Asia. Now, instead of thinking that Saudi women have limitations, I can prove to them that we are capable of incredible things, even for a Saudi woman to stand on top of the world. In a country where women couldn't even drive two years ago, Raha's story is an example of the things women can achieve only if they are given equal opportunities. Heck, with enough freedom, Raha Maharak they can touch the sky. Did you like that video? I hope so. It was a lot of effort and we're so happy to make it. In collaboration with Facebook, during the month of Ramadan, we are showing you the stories of 30 people in 30 days and each one of these stories is more amazing than the other. I hope you continue tuning in for this special daily series and follow us on Facebook. That's more than a minute. See you tomorrow.